<laughs> yeah, dude. Nice Woo! Nice yeah, buddy. Nice, man. Dude, I got all that on camera, too. That looked awesome. Yeah, that was sweet. How's it going, everyone? It's New Year's Eve, and I'm going to go in the water. I was going to sit today out, uh, but the forecast has changed. It's supposed to be uh, thunder and lightning today, but that is not in the forecast anymore. And looking out there, it's looking real calm. So I'm just going to swim around on that outer reef, dive around a bit. Probably won't go too deep. Didn't dive yesterday. Decided to take the day off. You know, my leg was getting pretty sore. I think it's overdoing it. And uh, tomorrow, I'm going back out on a boat with those guys. We're going to go try to find some more lobster and lionfish. Uh, last last time was real, real fun. So going to have another blast out there, I'm sure. Uh, and then, unfortunately, we just got one more day on Sunday uh, to, to enjoy. And then our flight isn't that evening time. So my diving is coming to an end here. Water temperature is dropping, but the visibility should be nice and good when we go back. So I'm going to try to scout around Shermanus a bit more, look for bottles, all of the above. But yeah, let me get out there just here to fish sandwich, so I won't be diving too deep, but still better than sitting around and being lazy. I was tired physically, but I still had energy that needed burning. I never regret diving, but I do regret the times I choose not to. I've been trying to get a decent clip of these fish since I first started diving here. And lo and behold, a cooperative subject. And you guessed it, some more linefish. No pole spear with me this time. I'm gonna miss all this coral. I'm gonna miss all the natural swim throughs too. Oh, and the warm water and awesome visibility. I was really trying to focus on the corals during this dive. They are really breathtaking. Hopefully coral bleaching will stay at bay and this reef will continue to flourish. I saw a white spotted fowlfish for the first time. Like I said, I never regret a dive. Two things video footage never offers justice, waves in the ocean, and these dam swim throughs. I tried to give a first person view during this shallow one, but it does nothing to compare to the real thing. You can choose your path while doing your breathe up on the surface, and while submerged, there are usually a couple routes you can choose to travel. Eventually, you find the top of the reef, and there's always lots of life waiting to greet you near the surface. I spotted a little cave with some translucent fish inside, so I went down to take a second look. If you know these species, let me know. I tried to show the smaller fish some love on this dive too. this tunnel around 13 meters going to around three wasn't about to do that solo I saw another eel too I was never able to locate that plastic peg wrapped around coral again and this was going to be my last dive in the area although disappointed I still grabbed some plastic on the way in Hi, Sayla. What's going on? Another awesome time in the water. Had a lot of good life out there. My goal was to see a great barracuda, which I did, but it was too far to film. Actually, that was my goal to film one. But hey, still saw one. That was neat. Saw some of those trigger fish that were super colorful. Had some awesome swim throughs. Unfortunately, the skies got a bit dark. There was thunderstorms scheduled, and then they were unscheduled, but I don't trust the weather network as far as I can throw them. 
I didn't want to risk it in case I saw a strike of lightning being in the water. Lead weight belt, you know, a dive torch on me. Yeah, probably wasn't the smartest. On the way back in, I saw that eel too. That was awesome. I'm gonna have a fondue tonight, celebrate New Year's, and doing that lobster dive tomorrow, which will be just as fun as today. Hope you're enjoying that time here in Bermuda. Don't worry, back to BC shortly, and I'll be in the water there. Uh, maybe not daily like here, but at least once a week. I'm excited for uh, for the snow and the ice diving. I thought man of war are only here in March and February, but clearly that's one. And there is another two and three. Those things hurt. I got hit in the ankle once, and uh, my lymph nodes and my leg swelled up a bit. Imagine coming up from a breath hold and not being in your face. Yeah, pretty, pretty little things though. There was the same crew as last time, except this one, Weldon Wade joined to. We cruised out and found some promising reef around 7 meters. On the first drop, Walden and I spotted a ledge loaded with lobster, so we called the guys over. John, without a single warm-up, landed a hefty lobster with ease. He had some redemption from our last outing. We were all pretty hyped. So awesome. Cody was right behind him and got the second one on the boat. around the reef but every time I surfaced another lobster was on the noose. These guys were on fire. However, the lobsters didn't want to go without a fight. Can't blame them. Eventually, we got four on board and things slowed down. So we jumped back on the boat and hopped over to some other spots nearby. The next spot was looking nice. A little shallower, but great visibility. I found this massive moray eel. This thing was a beast. What do you think? Is it being friendly or defensive? I've heard stories of these eels butting off fingers, so I wasn't about to go in for a handshake. Still a highlight for me. Off camera, two more lobsters were caught and we achieved our limit. Next stop, bottles and lionfish. Spread out that tail, man. Look at that puppy. Yeah, that's a big Is that the uh, one of the day? Not big puppy. Yeah, that's good. Right. Yeah. It's good there. This is what yeah, it's I mean, you can really see the ossicles, the feet, the the mouth parts. You do not want to get your finger in there. You can no, definitely your teeth if you want. I've got toothpaste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Let's go. We want to go. Lionfish. One o'clock in it. <laughs> well, the engine's not started yet. Once we reached our limit in lobster, we cruised to the south side of the island as lionfish are not as commonly found on the north. The conditions were pretty awesome. Ah, Bermuda, I miss you. An awesome day so far. Got our limit here in lobster. We're gonna try to go tag some lionfish. But yeah, epic time here. Thanks, man. Yeah. Router. We anchored near a massive reef and spread out to maximize the area we could target, putting strategy to work. Calling lionfish is important, but enjoying what's in front of you is as well. You doing good fish? Awesome. 
I'm sure you're doing better than this guy. Some days I make trivial excuses to myself to avoid hitting the gym or getting in the water. Watching Dave free diving with one leg was pretty humbling. It's an extremely impressive feat. Dave, you're an inspiration, and it was an honor to dive with you, my friend. It's funny, I was finding lionfish everywhere until it's time to spear one. I guess not finding them is the goal, so no complaints. I still found one though, and although small, at least its days of feeding on reef fish have come to an end. On the way back to the boat, I found my first red bottle. I was beyond stoked. Bottle hunting is slowly becoming my favorite thing to do while diving. The fact that these bottles have survived hundreds of years underwater while enduring the forces of countless hurricanes is mind-blowing. I've always been intrigued by a treasure hunt, and although not super valuable, this is close enough for me. Conch shells are illegal to collect in Bermuda, but this massive one was quite impressive. What you found is a marble bottle in my or a cob bottle yeah. it had it mineral water in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a marble in the top. I, I when you went to drink it, you it, pushed it, the marble it, down. Wow. The marble would stay in this little area, but it would let you drink the, drink the mineral water. Yeah. The issue with these is that if the marble was contaminated on the top, you pushed it down. Well, you contaminated your drink, so they actually outlawed these. No, I'm not sure of the exact date, but I want to say early 1900s as well. Such a cool ground too. Yeah, beautiful bottle. Occasionally, you can get them with the marble still in them. Okay. Just disappeared. Yeah, I wonder where this one went. Well, those are super rare because what would happen is the kids would break them, take the marbles out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If the marble wasn't there, it would change around. Jiggle around. Yeah, exactly. So it would have come out just like here. Yeah, beautiful find. Well, one more neat one. To the collection, kind of an old top on it, a uh, nice little weird neck. And from the bottom, it looks like it has a uh, bone glass. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, definitely uh, well, at least 100 years old. So we're getting pretty lucky here yeah, on these uh, Vanna Reefs, finding some cool stuff. It was eventually time to cruise back to the dock, but we made a quick pit stop on the way back in. I opted to stay on board and go figure, lionfish galore. Another four were added to the bucket. Back at the dock, John gave me a quick 101 on how to remove the venomous spines off the fish. Once removed, you can handle them safely and cook them as you would any other fish. That truly was an unbelievable day. Such an awesome time. Thanks, John. Thanks, uh, Weldon, Dave, Gordon. That was awesome. You know, meeting up with these locals here. They're taking me out on their boat, you know, uh, showing me a good time. So, really appreciate that. And check this out. You got some lobster. I uh, made, uh, made uh, John a bit of a deal. He's in the market for some free diving fins. He wanted some carbons and uh, asked if he could purchase these from me. But, you know, he showed me a good time, took a complete stranger out, so I just uh, paid it forward and told him, give me a couple lobster and the fins are his. So uh, uh, he was gonna give me these lobsters anyways, but you know, I wanted to hook him up in return and maybe he'll take me out when I come back in the future. You know, Lake Kiba and Garth are incredibly generous people. They let us stay here. We try to contribute in groceries, they wouldn't let us. They paid for our plane tickets, uh, sailors included. You know, unreal, so we had a two week trip here. All expenses paid and uh, you know they, they refused to let us contribute so you know at least I can pay it forward and help uh, help John out there uh, so we got lobster for dinner can't wait to cook these up never had spiny lobster uh, we get to go home tomorrow so this is a pretty sweet way to end a trip but yeah let's cook these lobsters up gotta take their life sorry guys but you know thanks for feeding the family although I'm Nova Scotian my childhood was spent harvesting off the west coast of Canada Dungeness and red rock crab were my forte. And to be honest, I'm a little green when it comes to the lobster game, both in terms of harvesting and preparing. With the help from YouTube, I was able to take care of the lobster humanely and efficiently. It was a small learning curve. We just cooked the tails and boiled them for roughly 15 minutes in salted water. 
In hindsight, I should have walked down to the beach and grabbed some ocean water. Can't beat that technique. The lobster still turned out absolutely delicious, and it was a big hit with everyone. Inspiring. We all had our fill, and Lakiba made some mac and cheese with the leftovers. The gift that keeps on giving. Thanks again, lobsters. So today's travel day, waking up nice and early. We're gonna go take Garth and Lakiba's boat out, and uh, I'm gonna dive a little cliff jumping spot, see if I can find any jewelry, and uh, yeah, and then we're gonna pack the bags and unfortunately uh, fly out today. So this will be the last sunrise I see here in a long time. We're hopefully gonna come back at least one time again this year. Maybe uh, October, or November, but yeah, it's a ways away. So uh, Bermuda, you've been awesome. Had a lot of fun here. Thanks again, like even Garth for the hospitality. And uh, one more day on the water. So let's get rolling. Just anchored up and gonna go see if I can find some jewelry. Maybe a GoPro or two. Right off the bat, I saw a big hogfish. I wasn't expecting to see too much here, but I was pleasantly surprised. It wasn't operational, but I found an Apple Watch. Mission successful. Girth has a lobster license, but they were closed in this area. Too bad. The amount of life around this small little island surrounded by sand was really surprising. Searching for old bottles goes something like this. Please be old, please be old, aw. The vast majority of the time, you're picking up duds. But that makes finding the gems that much more exciting. When you find a keeper, you get this euphoric feeling, more rewarding than landing a fish. Add a bonus, nothing has to die. I found this black glass bottle that could date back to the 1700s. It was my favorite find of the trip and possibly to date. I'm not sure if bottles are allowed to leave Bermuda, but thankfully, Lakiba and Gareth appreciate them as much as I do. So Bermuda they stay. That was a fun little dive and I found this awesome bottle. So cool, definitely from the 1800s. See the seams on the side, they don't construct them like that anymore. Looks like it's blown glass. Yeah, super, super cool. Stoked on that. Fun time in the water. Kind of Apple Watch too. And that spot was surprisingly fishy, so nice way to end a trip here. Last time in the water until who knows when. We're going home today. We're going home. Home? Yeah. You wanna home. go home? Home? Bye bye, Bermuda. Yeah. <laughs> Feel your pain, Sayla, but hey, we dodged some pretty horrible weather while on our holiday and made some awesome memories. On the way home, we got stuck in Toronto for 24 hours, but getting to Bermuda was our prime concern. Thanks again, Lakiba and Garth, for the amazing hospitality and the locals who let me tag along for the adventures. Also, to all my viewers who motivate me to make these videos. And now back to the regular PNW content. Pull your past diving coming up next. Sayla. You had fun here in Bermuda? You had a fun trip? Say bye bye, Bermuda. Yeah, we're going home. Yeah.